The animation that you're about to look at shows specific responses of seismic innovations on the new Bay Bridge. The animation is only done to show you what the potential response could be for these areas. As we come in, you see that the two major fault lines are the Hayward Fault and the San Andreas Fault, located on either end of the Bay Bridge. During a large-scale earthquake, you'll get movement on every part of the bridge. It's more subtle here on the Skyway, yet it's more pronounced when you come over to the self-anchored suspension side of the bridge. Now here you can see the difference between the two structures as they move in a large-scale event. As we move in on the self-anchored suspension bridge, we look at one of our first innovations, the shear link beam. What a shear link beam does is it allows the four legs of our main tower for the self-anchored suspension bridge to move independently during an earthquake. It takes the energy from that earthquake. Here you can see a simulation of that movement. All four legs of the bridge are moving independently and not being damaged, while the shear link beam bends and contorts, taking that energy. Another innovation that we have in the same way is called our hinge pipe beam. With our hinge pipe beam, we've created an area called a fuse. It's the same concept as a shear link beam, where one specific area is designed to bend and contort with an earthquake, while allowing the rest of the bridge to move. As we back off, we can take a look at the battered pile section for the Skyway. The Skyway is 1.2 miles long, and it is supported by 160 8.5 foot diameter, 300 foot long piles, and they allow the structure to have better movement in a large scale seismic event.